assalamu alaikum dear students uh, welcome to ten film technology course lecture number uh, 24 uh, in this lectures uh, we will discuss about uh, magnetron sparkings uh, as a part of ten film uh, diffusions uh, sections uh, so uh, i'm dr purvez ahmed so let's start the lecture with the uh, uh, magnetron uh, sparkings last time if you remember we were discussing about uh, uh, dc and rf sputtering uh, so we learned that in the case of uh, dc and rf sputtering the efficiency of ionization is from the energetic collisions between the electrons and the gas atom is uh, low that we learned in the last lecture and as a result uh, we noted that most electron Uh, lose energy and non uh, non ionizing uh, collisions and are collected by the electrode so as a result we have oscillating uh, rf field uh, that increases uh, 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 that result in increasing ionization efficiency uh, marginally i means we have oscillating uh, rf field uh, which is increasing ionization efficiency marginally Uh, hence, uh, diffusion rates are low. So, what actually we are trying uh, to do, or what we are interesting in, is to increase the diffusion rates. Uh, magnets are used uh, to increase the percentage of the electrons uh, they take part in ionization events, uh, increasing the ionization efficiency. So, for that particular purpose, uh, a magnetic field is applied at right angles to the electric field. by placing the large magnet uh, behind the targets so uh, what actually we get with these magnet uh, so uh, this basically traps the electrons uh, near the target surface and causes them to move in a spiral motions until they collide with an organs atoms so uh, as a result of that we get the ionization and spectric efficiency that increasing significantly i mean uh, it's mean that the position rate increases by 10 to 100 times uh, that is up to 1 microns uh, per minute so uh, unintentional vapor heating is reduced uh, why it's reduced because the dense plasma is confined near the targets and, and ion loss to the vapor is less and be remember in a magnetron sparkings uh, at a lower argon pressures that is uh, up to 0.5 millitor can still sustain the plasma but it can be utilized since ionization efficiency is larger uh, which can improve film quality as less organs will be incorporated in the uh, films and it should also be noted while utilizing the magnetron sputtering it should be noted that magnetron sputtering can be done in dc or rf but more often it is done in dc why it is uh, done in dc because uh, uh, in dc uh, as a cooling of the insulating target is difficult in rf uh, system so that's why we are we are trying to do it in in the dc mode so here in the factory you can see the setup the experimental setup the arrangements for the magnetron sputtering so here you can see that uh, just like the I mean, we have some editions uh, 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 along with the uh, journal or with the commonly utilized uh, sputtering uh, mechanism. So here you can see that we have, uh, I mean, some magnetron sputtering cathodes. Uh, I mean, it's placed uh, behind the targets. I mean, here you see that uh, we have these targets, and behind these targets we have magnetron sputtering the cathodes. Uh, I mean, uh, you see a magnetic assembly. and then we have uh, about these electrode uh, the magnetron sputtering uh, the cathode uh, we have the targets and just about the targets i mean here you can see it here we have uh, uh, just about the target we have the electric fields that we uh, denoted here this is the electric field the wireless structures uh, above the target is the electric field and uh, this spiral like structure uh, this spiral i mean the there's the half circles that you can observe uh, i mean so with the red color these are basically the primary uh, magnetic fields so uh, when we have the process so here you can see that uh, the organs ions accelerated to the targets i mean so here uh, you can see that the organs are 
uh, the organs ions they are being exploded to the targets I mean they are made to strike uh, the targets so as a result they eject the atoms or spatter the atoms so uh, surface atoms ejected from the targets uh, and they are being exploded toward uh, the substrates uh, where they have been coated in the form of thin film on the substrate so here you can see that it's the cathode uh, targets and we applied a perpendicular magnetic field so what happened with this perpendicular electric field uh, that move the electron in spiral structures so orbital motion of the electrons we have the orbital motion of the electrons uh, it increases the possibility that they will collide with the neutral species and create the ions I mean here you can see the gains uh, we applied a perpendicular magnetic field so what it do it normally uh, spiral the electrons in almost circular trajectory so uh, magnet transpecting for high density of plasma uh, near the targets so impact of mag magnetic field on the ions uh, uh, we should have uh, we should have uh, we should have the hopping radius r which is equal to 1 over b b is the magnetic field uh, times under root uh, 2m divided by e time uh, v with a substrate d so what are these terminologies uh, you remember v with the substrate d is basically the voltage drop v for the voltage and the substrate d uh, is basically for uh, i mean denote the drop so v with the substrate d basically stand for the voltage drop across the dark uh, the dark space or the sheets uh, with a voltage with a value approximately equal to 100 volt b here in this particular relations it stand for the magnetic field uh, with a value approximately equal to 100 gauss uh, for the electrons uh, r this r has a value is approximately equal to 0 0.3 centimeters and for the argon r uh, for, uh, for the argon ions uh, r is equal to uh, 81 centimeters so as a result uh, when we have all these values so you can see it by uh, yourself I mean uh, if we take the deposition rate as a function of the chamber pressures so you can see that we have uh, increased our deposition rates uh, uh, and the magnetron sputterings uh, with a vacuum almost equal to a uh, one uh, millitor but if we uh, go for uh, non magnetron uh, sputterings uh, that can work at a vacuum 10 millitor so for non magnetron case you can see the deposition rate uh, uh, is very slow with the chamber pressure that is i mean the, we have this deposition rate uh, with a vacuum that's uh, approximately equal to a uh, hundred uh, millitar so current density increases by what do we mean uh, it mean that uh, the current density increases by uh, 100 times uh, what it means mean that the current density is proportion to the ionization uh, rate so required uh, discharge pressures drops 100 times I mean in magnetron sputterings are uh, required discharge pressures drops uh, 100 times uh, deposition rate increases 100 times I mean uh, I mean you you have observed that practically here you have observed it practically here in this particular figure that is deposition rate increases 100 times uh, if you look at the I mean the, uh, the experimental setup for the magnetron sputtering so it's look like this I mean uh, we have this uh, apparatus for the magnetron sputtering I mean it's the magnetron uh, magnetron sputter guns and the magnets uh, they are being placed uh, uh, under the targets that the magnets that they, they are being placed under the target I mean here you can see it here uh, this is the magnet under the under the targets uh, I mean that, that that's been utilized to produce the uh, the magnetic field so here you can see uh, we have the power connector here uh, as the cooling uh, the, the wire the thin wire that you can see it here is basically uh, provide the cooling wires and here uh, you can see here the seals and these seals are basically the vacuum seals so they're trying to produce the necessary vacuum for the uh, the spark rings and this is basically the targets mounting surface so what we have uh, for uh, some applications for example filling up the high aspect ratio holes uh, small targets and large target substrates preparation is used uh, why it's used uh, in order to achieve the narrow uh, arrival angle distributions are 
uh, it's mean that we, uh, we can utilize that for long to spark rings. Let me repeat it again. Uh, for some applications, small targets and large, tar uh, large target substrate separation is used. Why it's used? It is used uh, in order to achieve narrow arrival angle distributions. So if you have narrow arrival angle distribution, so it's mean that uh, we should have long through uh, spark rings. So how this is possible? Uh, this is possible only if the atom don't experience uh, many collisions on their path to the substrate. If you remember last time we mentioned when the atom is sparked from the targets, so uh, when it's tried to move to the surface for the deposition, so on their path, uh, it has many collisions uh, with the particles on their ways. Uh, and last lecture we mentioned that it has tens of collisions before it's reached the substrate. So I mean, if we avoid, I mean, such a, such a collision is there being avoided uh, in the magnet transporting. That's why we're saying that uh, in a magnet transporting uh, is possible so only if the atoms. Uh, I mean, uh, we have long through sputterings, and we are saying that it's possible only if the atoms don't experience many collisions and they're far to the substrates. Uh, this means that uh, a large man free fault and a low chamber pressures uh, can be achieved by using the magnetron uh, sputtering. I mean, uh, in the sample words, uh, we can get by utilizing the magnetron uh, sputtering, we can get a large man free fault and a low chamber pressures. Uh, which can be, uh, I mean, uh, that we can achieve by uh, magnetron uh, sputterings. So, for example, uh, 10 centimeters uh, mean free path for 0 0.5 millitar pressures. I mean, that, that, that is how uh, we are saying here. I mean, with the magnetron sputterings, I mean, when we are trying to utilize the magnetron sputterings for depositions of the thin film. So uh, with this, we can uh, get a large man free path with a large chamber, uh, with a large chamber pressure. So here is an example of that. I mean, we can get a man free path equal to 10 centimeters. And this mean free path can be achieved uh, with a low pressure. How much low? Uh, with a low pressures equal to 0 0.5 millitor. I mean, with the 0 0.5 millitor low pressures, we can get a large man free fault that is equal to uh, 10 centimeters. And that we can get by utilizing the magnet transporterings for thin film uh, diffusions. So, when the pressure is not that low, I mean, it's when we do not have this low pressures, that is 0 0.5 millitor. So what it mean? Most atoms will be deposited on the chamber wall. So those reaching the, the substrate uh, still have narrow arrival uh, angle distributions. I mean, uh, when we have this much of the pressures, so the, uh, the man free path is higher. So all the atoms, they are trying to reach the substrate for their depositions. But if the pressures are, is even, uh, I mean, the, the, the pressure is not uh, this much low, so, I mean, the other possibility uh, that, that this is what we mentioned here in this particular uh, situations. So, we have, uh, we have also issues related with the magnet transport rings. So, what are, the, uh, what are those issues? That is, uh, we can have uh, erosion, uh, erosion tracks and the targets, uh, just like this one, you can see it here. These are the erosions, uh, the erosion tracks and the targets, uh, and it can lead to poor targets use efficiency and non-uniform film on the substrate. I mean, these erosion tracks uh, in the targets uh, leading to poor target uh, by uh, target uh, use efficiency and non-uniform film on the substrate. I mean, this, uh, this is one of the main drawbacks or you can say that the issues related with the uh, magnet transport rings. So that's all we have for this lectures. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see you next lecture. Till then, bye-bye.